Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Uh, friends, in this session I'll be discussing uh, some doubts sent by the students. Uh, some students are still confused about uh, simple and compound interest. So let's take the problems. And uh, before you come for this session, do attend all the basic sessions of simple and compound interest. You must be knowing what is the difference between simple and compound interest. I just go for a quick recap. Simple interest is uh, that is interest charged per annum on a on an amount. Suppose I have principal P rate of interest per annum is r and time is t year so simple interest is p r t by 100 right and what is compound interest compound interest is nothing but interest on interest interest on interest now what happens suppose uh, you have any amount uh, suppose rupees 100 or maybe rupees 1000 rate of interest is suppose 10 percent per annum and time is two years right now in case of simple interest what would happen uh, principal 1000 rate of interest 10 time two years divided by 100 so total it is 200 rupees okay that means simple interest on 1000 rupees for 2 years is 200 rupees. Now this calculation whatever I have done after so much of practice and attending 4 full length sessions on simple and compound interest you should be able to do uh, able to make this calculation mentally. 1010% right simple interest remains same every year that you must be knowing right now principal 1000 rate of interest 10 percent so for one year the interest will be 100 rupees for two year the interest will be 200 rupees because simple interest remains same every year that's very important now what exactly is compound interest compound interest as i have told you interest on interest see what happens uh, after first year see 1000 rupees with 10 percent of interest you are getting rupees 100 as interest now after for one year your principal becomes 1100 rupees right 1000 it is a original principal and now 100 rupees has uh, also accumulated in your account right suppose you are not withdrawing this interest from your bank right suppose we take an example of bank you have deposited 1000 rupees at 10 percent of interest for two years right so at the end of one year what would happen your 100 rupees interest will also be accumulated in your account right so for the second year your principal is 1000 plus 100 that is 1100 okay now principal is changed initially the principal was 1000 now the principal is 1100 now at the beginning of second year your principal is 1100 rate of interest once again 10 percent and time for second year we're talking about so it's just one year divided by 100 so now interest is 110 rupees for the first year interest was 100 rupees for the second year interest was 110 rupees so total interest after two years you earned is 210 rupees because in the second year uh, you are earning interest on interest also right now if you wish to calculate it separately right what would what would you do just uh, see for the uh, for both the years simple interest will remain same 100 and 100 right now if we talk about compound interest what would happen interest will be earned on first year's interest also for second year uh, interest is same that is 100 uh, rupees this is simple interest for first year simple interest for second year in the second year you will earn interest on interest also right so 10 percent interest on this first year's interest so 10 percent of 100 is what 10 rupees okay so the total amount you are earning uh, as an interest in two years is 100 plus 100 plus 10 that is 210 right now many times question um, is asked like what is the difference between simple interest and compound interest um, uh, for the period of two years any amount is given now that can be calculated very easily in this particular case the difference is just 10 rupees 
right so suppose i take one more example maybe principal is 10000 rupees uh, rate of interest initially we take just up some something simple so i take 10% and uh, we have to find out difference between simple interest and compound interest for the period of 2 year now what would happen uh, every year simple interest will remain same so 10% of this is 1000 for first year for second year simple interest 1000 1000 now compound interest is what interest on interest of first year so first year's interest is 1000 10% of 1000 you will be earning extra so 10% of 1000 that is 100 right so difference between simple interest and compound interest is nothing but rupees 100 right so you don't require any formula over years good number of students has what is a formula for this and for 2 years for 3 years so you don't need any formula for this that you must be just knowing that interest on interest is compound interest right now same question if we extend to 3 years even then you don't need formula what you do take a simple interest every year will be 1000 for the period of 3 years then for this 1000 will be earning 10% of interest in second year and 10% interest in third year in the third year will be uh, gaining or will be uh, having 10% on the um, interest on this amount also this interest also so this is 100 okay i'll take uh, one or two more example do not get confused so 100 then in the third year this i'll be taking 10% interest on this interest also so that is rupees 10 okay so what is the difference between compound interest and simple interest this is simple interest and this entire thing is compound interest so difference is just this that is 310 rupees so you don't need any formula so for 2 years difference is 100 for 3 years difference is 310 rupees i just come here once again you just write down simple interest every year 1000 1000 1000 1, first year second year third year now when we have to write down the compound interest take interest on this 1000 rupees uh, of first year for next two years 10% 100 100 then for this in third year 100 then for this uh, 10% of this in next year okay similar way we can extend it also but generally in exams two years and three years this much is asked so what is the difference 310 rupees okay so difference between simple interest and compound interest for the period of 3 year it is 310 rupees for that we don't need any formula now see this question for what find the difference between si and ci on rupees 700 at the rate of 10% for 3 years okay so simple interest 700 10% it will be 70 rupees each year i write 70 70 70 for 3 years right now rate of interest 10% uh, what is the first step over here 10% of the 70 that is 7 in the first, second year and then once again in the third year right so on the 70 10% this is first uh, this is second year and this is third year so 10% in the second year and 10% in the third year then for this uh, 10% in the third year right then for this 10% in the third year because it is further an interest so 10% of this is 70 paisa so what is the total uh, interest compound interest if we talk about 70 plus 70 plus 70 plus 21 rupees 70 paisa and what is the difference 21 rupees 70 paisa So isn't it so simple? You don't need any paperwork to solve this problem, and you don't, uh, um, you hardly need paperwork, and you hardly need any formula to solve this sort of problems. Okay, if you are conceptually clear what exactly compound interest is, then you don't need um, any formula for this. One more problem on the same concept: if the simple interest on a sum of money for three years at five percent. 
per annum is rupees 1200 the compound interest for the same period at the same rate is okay so 3 years 5% uh, the total interest simple interest is 1200 that means 400 each year Sec first year second year third year now on the similar line we will take compound interest at the rate of 5% so 5% of 400 rupees 20 for the first year for the second year so this is 20 and 20 on this see so this 20 and 20 is for this okay then we have to take for this so further 20 then we have to take for this 5% uh, of 20 that is 1 okay so difference is 20 20 20 20 uh, 1 61 and uh, if uh, the simple interest is 1200 difference is 61 so compound interest is 1261 so what have you done just a very simple structure if you can see over here for this first year's interest write down the interest on interest for this 400 5 percent in the second year 5 percent in the third year for this second year's interest 5 percent in the third year for this second year's interest on interest 5 percent in the third year so this is the difference no formula required okay SI and CI on a certain sum for 2 years rupees 50 and 51 respectively find the sum. Okay, 